to know that quick, as you've mentioned, surgical precision, yeah. methodical, analytical. He's not the type of player to let Lutini get away with a win and not adapt. However, Definitely. we do see the cloud here. Well, and that is going to be something that Quick is extremely familiar with due to Purple Age being one of the best clouds in Europe living in Germany. Very intense top eight. We have been sweating all over for the past hour, but are we ready for this grand finals? Are you ready, Ramses? I, I, I've been born ready, my guy. <laughs> I hope Chad is ready as well. Everyone here in the venue is ready to see these matches explode as Glutini starts off with a little bit of a deficit here on Battlefield. A, a great stage for both these characters, definitely, by the way. Definitely, that triplat, yeah. I mean, zero suit on triplats, that's pretty much a meme at this point. And Cloud <laughs> obviously getting all the reward he can get on this stage. Cloud, uh, Cloud will, I mean, Gluttony will really need to work with that uh, stage control if he wants to contend with uh, Quick's kill power on these triplats. But at the moment, Quick is just showing such a confidence in the matchup, like Ooh. knowing everything was going on. Just like that, the trade of the side B on shield, he knew he could squeeze out a little uh, grab there and actually And, and I that. really want to highlight that interaction right there. Gluttony was off stage and he actually went for a double jump down air back on stage. And what Quick did is he, he dashed to the center stage mm -hmm. and he tried to back air the down air. However, because Cloud has so much air speed, um, he basically gets to the side where he lands and Zero Suit, because her hitboxes are too small and too, um, they don't last long enough, she basically has to read his drift. And that makes it really hard for Zero Suit to keep the... Yeah, see, that's, that, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. what he did. Yeah. He goes to center stage and he backers because Ooh. if Cloud makes it to center stage, that's going to be the highest reward. So if Cloud instead decides to drift back to the ledge, he can at least still corner him. Yeah, right? yeah totally makes sense. Totally so makes that's sense once that again, idea. that's like quick, uh, making the most of that situation, really optimizing his, his character uh, as well as he can. However, not having a double jump for his cloud, has to use that downbeat to get away, and Glutini not ready for that. Trying to go high, trying to end the stock, trying to go for the high risk, high reward, and in the end, Quick is just gonna get out of that situation and gonna do 40%, not gonna go for the tether, because he saw Glutini run off, and if Cloud runs off, he can very easily limit cross slash the tether, gets the normal get up down smash, and to the neutral air, nice confirm, and Quick is running away with this game, look at all this, all this pressure, Glutini Actually, yeah, feels Glutini. forced to use his limit there. Uh, just to put up some pressure. Oh, oh that back air on the, the precision. climax. The precision just sniping the back Fire. air. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, with the wow. down smash, down B as well to end that stock. I'm Glutini pretty got sure. Destroyed. Yeah, Glutini got destroyed, by the way. You were talking about his practice versus Purple Age. I think just like that, Glutini was pushed out, was out, out of his cloud. For sure. Just like that. I really do not see Glutini returning to that cloud after that showing. Because, you know, we started off slow. And as the game progressed, quick really caught on to how Glutiny's cloud plays. That, that was he just really crazy. caught on crazy. to what and Glutiny and wanted to do, and he was there to counter it. And even in the situations where he wasn't sure, he, like I mentioned, uh, like we talked about, he went for the optimal choice uh, every single time, regardless. Every and time, and, and he really showed the matchup knowledge as well. Did you see that yep. back air on the climax of Cloud's up? Yeah, that's right. Ah, I mean, I've never seen that. You, you only do that if you're so very familiar with the Definitely. matchup. So shout out to Purple Age for really uh, teaching Quick how to play this matchup. Really pushing him. All right, but Glutony coming back to Cloud, and that kind of makes sense. It's, you know, he wants to push the character. He wants to stop being held back by Wario. Yep. And he has a whole set to adapt and learn against uh, yep. uh, Quick in Grand Finals there. Glutony coming from winners here has a lot of room to play with for sure. Quick, on the other hand, the pressure is on him to make his work and to make the comeback happen. Mm, Two sets like to win after winning that loser finals versus Ixus. And he's off to a good start, getting that ladder combo, not quite getting in towards the end. And Ooh. Glutiny, he was definitely on to Quick there, gets a nice juggle here and back into the lead with that limit on deck that's going to be you. And Glutiny with a nice answer, actually finding not only all the juggles, all the reads on the, uh, on the uppers and the air uh, dodges, and finally finding the reads to actually squeeze out that side B limit and find the first kill. All right, Glutini, what do we have more? Just f charging that limit, totally makes sense. Oh, and a down tilt once again using that burst range, and that's one of Cloud's weaknesses. His ground game is just not quite there, <laughs> right? Ooh. Back air, very nice, very precise. Glutini going high once again using a nice air dodge to get back to the ledge. And ooh, quick with a little bit of a miss input, a little bit late on that punish as well. And Glutini going to take that, going to run with it, going to get his limit back, and that's going to be big once again, because as soon as he has that limit back, uh, Quick is going to fall behind in speed, and that's going to be mm. a big deal. A little bit of a technical flub there from both Ooh. players, just uh, making it back both on stage. It's, it's so hard to stay technical versus a character that, that is so fast. Yeah, so like Zero Suit is extremely fast, Cloud is extremely fast. As soon as they mix up their, their movement, 
your moves will miss. So you got to be precise. And when you have to be precise, you open yourself up for more errors. Yeah, that's completely true. I mean, uh, we, we point out a technical <laughs> technical flub after the game 10. Exactly. Uh, yep. Against X is going out so fast. I mean, these players are playing outstandingly so far. And, uh, well, playing outstandingly, but Gluttony is just showing so much adaptation. Ooh, such did a good you adaptation see that? So far. Quick just walked up to him and dared him to throw Ooh. out a move. I said, I'm ready with the Abbey out of shield. And Gluttony, he was wise. He's just going to roll behind Zero Suit, knowing that Zero Suit has a lot of issues with rolls and covering those, especially when she's not ready with those short hops. And Quick was not, but Quick at the end of the day, he's still ready with the pressure. And that's one of Cloud's weaknesses. He does not have the fastest of moves, right? His yeah. fast moves are pretty gated, especially behind Limit. And when, when, when Zero Suit starts to put on the pressure, it's going to be big for Cloud because Cloud does not have the answers for that. And that the grab on the platform! Jesus Christ, that turnaround grab was so very clutch. Was Listen, just, just you, don't, you don't get grabbed on the platform. No. You don't get no, grabbed you on don't. the platform. You don't, you and don't. It just, hey, and Glutely knew it. He was like, oh. Exactly. <laughs> he was just trying to get away. Uh, like, get maybe, away maybe he actually wanted to run off the platform, but <laughs> yeah, accidentally was, did, a, was, did a turnaround, right? So that might have been a little bit of a flub. I, I have no idea if it was a flub, but... Well, I might be, might be, but the what thing I know I was the intention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what sorry, I wanted go ahead. to see was I wanted to see Gluttony do like a, um, a, a drop. A drop. Yeah, for see, sure. And, for sure. and when you're both standing on a platform, that's one of the best situations in the game for Cloud because um, especially if you get good at shield dropping, yeah, 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 getting yeah. a drop aerial just sets up all your pressure because up air is so safe. Yeah, yeah you basically cover the whole platform. Exactly. Uh, and and you land afterwards immediately, yeah. and then you can set up those rising aerials to keep on the uh, pressuring your opponent. And Zero Suit especially. What is Zero Suit going to do after she drops uh, off the platform? She can get an up air, and she can pressure with those. But look at the risk-reward mm. if you compare Cloud's up air, 12% damage leads into a full combo compared to Zero Suit's up air, which only really does that at those specific yeah. letter percents. Yeah, definitely. However, I, I did hear a switch, switch to Warrior yeah. come out. Uh, oh, nope, actually, not switch back. Yet. I'm no, sorry. Nope, nope. My apologies. Not just yet. We're still getting that cloud for that third game. I mean, he was he was looking clean. In he that was looking third, extremely yeah. clean, and then Quick made the comeback happen. And that, I mean, that just goes to show, like, the difference in experience. I definitely think that Gluttony is working on the fly here. He's definitely trying to improvise. And he has to, he has to react to the problems that Quick poses. Uh, on the fly, right? Well, Quick, he already has, like we mentioned before, he has those layers figured out. He can immediately switch his game plan to what he knows is optimal to react to his opponent's uh, reactions to his plan. You know what I mean? Abs absolutely. But uh, Gluten is still finding ways to hit, but what I really want to see from Gluttony now is a much wiser way to uh, spend the limits. He's, he's been throwing out way too many for limits sure, uh, just sure. in the air, like trying to jank him out. Well, maybe not jank uh. him out, but just to get a, a neutral yep, yep, B, yep, you yep, know, yep. and that kind of stuff. But Quick having none of it, he knows about that kind of stuff. Shielding everything, uh, actually avoiding everything. So now I want to see Gluttony use this of the and, oh, this kind of and he stuff. actually yeah. did not commit hard enough. You can definitely cover all of Zero Suit's options after she footstools you from the downbeat just like that because she's in full leg for nearly the entire animation. Uh, but, you know, Glutini, like we mentioned, he just does not have the experience that Quick does and he did not, uh, he did not feel comfortable committing that hard. However, however, Glutini still has a solid lead here, especially when we consider the kill, uh, kill differential that these characters have. Oh, that's bad. Oh, yeah, 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 Go yeah. Talking about kill differential, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, Zerosu definitely more of a high committal character than Cloud is, uh, especially because of that grab. Okay, maybe that's grab from... Okay. Oh, and that might be some damage. Definitely good damage. Definitely something that, uh, that Glutini would love here. He has a lot of room to work with, and that limit is not extremely important to him. Not going for that second up B because he knows Quick is immediately there with the backer to trade. Glutini trying to frame trap him, but not going for Ooh. the upper, but the up tilt. Didn't work, but still finding himself in an advantage situation. Quick reversing the situation, though. Nice forward there, nice DI by Glutini. Not going to die to that, and that's not going to work. Uh, that's not going to work from these percents onwards. That is going to be an upper, so it's going to be a kill. Nice up tilt, using that disjoint to beat Cloud's down air. And Cloud almost has limit, but he's going to lose it as he dies. That's a big swing for Quick, getting that kill before Glutiny gets a full rage limit Cloud on deck. So that's a lot of swinginess out of the window for Quick, but he still has a mountain to climb in this game free. Mountain to climb, but he's uh, definitely looking Ooh. ready to climb. Messed up, his yeah. 
as he's actually still finding all the grabs Oof. and all the good stuff that he needs to actually get that game back from Glutz on he, his hand. He did mess up that frame trap, but he up till there a little bit late on the air dodge catch. Uh, it's going to be a shame, and it's going to give Glutzini a lot of momentum back. And once you do have that grab, you cannot mess up your frame trap. You cannot mess up your momentum. You took such a high risk to make that happen. And you... Oh! Ooh, he caught the air dodge, but he wasn't there with the execution. And that's one of those things where Kajis has a lot of airspeed, which makes his to guess. And you don't want to guess. And then ca catching the neutral Gabriel through the jab. I mean, oh, oh, and that down there will actually take it as well. So quick overshooting the uppy, trying to force Glutini to respect it. Yeah. Glutini saying, nope, I'm Cloud. I don't have to respect nope. anything. I have no. a big sword right here. I'm going to, you know, stick it right into your face. Yeah, and that, that, that sword is so strong. That move is so strong. Like, yeah, <laughs> like the weak hit kills. Yeah. Like, just like that. Just like uh, that. It's mean, such a strong move. It is. Like, uh, either he, he was getting spiked into Oblivion or... You know, just dying straight up from uh, from that move. So very nice, exactly. uh, very nice way to actually stop quick from uh, doing resetting. that resetting yeah, from resetting yeah. from uh, just just keeping away the chance from uh, quick to uh, take that 3-0 first set. And uh, I'm not even sure he's he's going for the win. I mean, maybe he's not uh, the, his first uh, uh, his first objective, but still. Okay, so here we see a game four coming into coming into action. We see Glutini. Already making a lot of adaptations uh, in that game, game three. After taking the win, after two pretty, pretty convincing games, I would say, even though Quick did have to make a little bit of a comeback, and that's one of those things that's really scary about Glutini. His cloud is relatively new, and the fact that his cloud is relatively new means that as he plays, he's gonna learn and learn and learn so much faster than Quick. Who while he can rely on his prior knowledge, Lutini can rely on his excellent player skill and then push that even further as he learns while he plays. Yeah, definitely, and he's learning so fast as well. Oh, and once again, once technical again. flub coming yep. out from Quick. Uh, might actually be... Um, I mean, that was definitely a down B. No, that was an up B. An up B there, you think? I think that was an up B, not a side B, for sure. Um, and rather All than, right. rather than you know, push that through, he's actually going to get trapped on his landing immediately. All right, but that's that's the OB that will take it. We're back to even, and again, quick. Only one game away from resetting the the whole set. Oh, look at that! That's gonna be a grab. Both at low percents. Quick gonna get a little bit of a combo, but not much. And that chip damage, Cloud is not gonna matter. They're not gonna mind that too much. He knows that due to the way Zero Suit works, she has a lot of issues gifting Cloud at lower percents. She just gonna, cannot push Cloud off stage efficiently at those lower percents unless she lands raw back airs, which is extremely hard to do against Cloud's big, big sword. So kind of with a big, big sword, that forward there, safe on shield, granting Glutony an escape after so much pressure. Glutony just uh, charging the limit yeah, on the platform. Exactly. He's really, he's really making sure that he's not caught with his pants down, right? He makes sure that limit is on deck when he's off stage to not only have the up B recovery option, but also have all that airspeed to make the initial recovery that much easier. Mm. And oh, oh, yeah, that I love was that. so rude. And oh. once again, the up B miss input. <laughs> that's, that's the first right, right, time That interaction already. looked ridiculous, really. Like, both yeah. of them got caught in a situation where they did not expect uh, the other one to go uh, to have a technical flood, really. They're not used to that kind of stuff. Exactly. Uh, and and weren't ready to punish it. So they're back to even on stage and trying again to fish to find something, uh, a kill confirmed to end the stock of the opponent. And such a tense moment as well. Yeah, this look is at like these percents. Yeah, 95%. This is a very scary point as well. Uh, Glutony trying to <gasps> get... Oh, <gasps> but that double bait, though. That, that double, double bait. bait. Yeah, yeah just that charge <laughs> limit into cancel. <laughs> Tw and twice. And dude, not spiking with downer is better than spiking <laughs> with is, downer. It is, it is. That's this cloud kind of privilege. privilege. This is, oh, cloud privilege for sure. Jesus, and that double, that everything looks very slick. Like, I'm not even sure Quick slick got baited sure. a second time, but he got baited for the, uh, for the first one. He definitely got baited sure. in after that limit charge. And, and, and then, yeah, Glutony knew. Just, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that sword over there, and if you approach ever, uh, if you approach just a bit, you're going to get hit. Exactly, and knowing, uh, knowing Zero Suit's up air knockback, there was not a lot of risk of uh, dying up there. Yeah. So he could throw out the down air with relatively low risk, with... As we saw, immensely high reward. And what we're seeing right now is we've seen Lutini just adapt after those first two games. Game one was a wash, game two was so close, and then game three and four, Lutini just took over, uh, even though game four, as we saw, 94 to 95%, very close. At the end of the day, the kill uh, differential 
it's just such a big deal. Cloud has such an easy time killing, and Zerosuit really has to make her setups work. Oh, he's actually going for a forward air string. I was expecting an up air string. Actually, he did land on the platform, but Quick had other plans right there. Probably knew that it was not quite going to kill oh! if he went for that for that up air string. And Gluttony, yeah, Gluttony he's, he's again he's going for all the naughty stuff and oh finding no! that kill. The side B just barely not connecting. That is such a shame. Quick. This is such a big deficit, and he has such a mountain to climb to make this happen. However, mountain to climb, but with some platform to help. Exactly. And this Dreamland. is CSS. Yeah, this is CSS we're talking about. So we can definitely see. Fortil, very nice. Gonna push him off stage. Gonna get all the pressure he needs. Gonna corner him with the back air. Oh, oh! that forward air. Well, okay, he okay. Quick, quick, yeah, quick lifts. Quick make it back on stage and finally finding a, a combo <gasps> starter. He had no, the air dodge yeah. the down B, but he did, wasn't quite ready to commit to it. And that's once right, again, that's he was ready for the air dodge, but Glutini waited with air dodging to make Quick second guess, and Quick was just not ready for the late air dodge, which is so pivotal to this set. Look at that. The back air going to push Glutini off stage, but Glutini has a lot of room to recover because mm. of the way Quick uh, gets the way Zerosuit functions, right? Yeah. It's very hard to last, throw out a lasting hitbox around that ledge to stop Glutini from jumping back on just like that. And then not Glutony, I mean Quick in a very... Oh, he did burn the limit and that's not gonna be... Oh, Jesus, okay. that forward yeah. actually burnt the limit. Exactly, that oh, forward that was interrupted the limit. That was playing with fire for Quick and I mean, it snipe, worked out well. Yeah, yeah, he has to play up, yeah. with fire to make that comeback happen. And right now it's looking all the more possible as he took that first stock off of Glutony. All right, Quick now try to find the combo starter again with that paralyzer, but do doesn't get uh, anything. Glutony going straight for the grab and back to the neutral but w w the more the more these uh, interactions go on the more gluttony gets the limits and that's this is not a good look for quick actually because he's not sitting at 93 percent yeah. if, if gluttony gets the limits any kind of uh, special will actually take the stock exactly he needs to make something happen before this happens but gluttony now sitting with a limit on deck sitting at the edge yep. too ah yep yep yeah i was seeing that one coming Glutton is uh, feeling a little bit too oh, comfortable. This could be huge. This could be huge. Let's see how Glutony lands using that airspeed to disengage entirely. And that up air is going to make it so hard for Zero Suit to do anything whatsoever. Glutony extending his advantage state so perfectly. All right. Quick finally finding the four. Oh, nice read on the double jump. No jump on Glutony. Barely makes it back. And the up air and the is upper wheel gonna take beat it. the back air of Zero Suit. The upper takes it and Glutony takes the reset four with only cloud. Five? Five? <laughs> five. The reset five with only cloud. Such a strong showing from Oaks Esports Glutony. Well, very, very well done. And why don't you tell us? Uh, yeah, yeah, a that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, something, the something, uh, Intel. Yeah. But what, what has Gluttony won? Uh, something we didn't tell you just yet. Like, there is obviously cash price, but also a free entry to Elysium 2 and Buchpif Arena at Truc de Geek that Gluttony right. just won. So you're going to see Gluttony's Sick Cloud at two other European tournaments very yeah. soon. Thank you very much uh, to these two organizations. And thank you to Hard Read as well for organizing Definitely. this amazing tournament that. I mean, it's so unreal. We've come to an end. And I don't know, like, because oh. this had become my life for the, for the past hours. I, I feel like I've yeah. done this all my life. I'm not sure I would have survived much more than that. Dude, though, all the game this five was, sets. This was so intense, God. I hope you guys survived at home. No heart attacks, please. But uh, we had an awesome time. Thank you again to Audrey for this awesome event. Awesome, uh, again, just to, you know... Uh, throw a little bit of flowers to them. Uh, they have been um, helping the fighting game community for so many years. Uh, very grassroots ones. And uh, basically pushing the quality also of our events, of our streams here in Switzerland for the longest time. So please for sure. uh, follow them. Please send them a little heart or something. Just a little thing to, to show them some love. And exactly. uh, well, we're going to be off uh, with another game now. Now we're going to be doing an interview. Oh, okay, yeah. So we're going to take a little break first, I okay, think. Okay, I definitely let you do uh, the interview. Yeah, we're going to uh, take Ramses. a little break, then we're going to do an interview. So, guys, stay tuned for a little bit. We'll be right back. Oh, he's, he's ready already. Yeah, yeah he's but ready. I'm, I'm not ready. I'm going to take yeah, a little break okay, first. Okay, yeah, let's go for a little break. So, then. guys, uh, anyway. uh, stay tuned for a little bit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Thank it. Thank you, you so much. If you enjoyed our commentary, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, my tag is at ramzeus.god with underscores between the words. And, and mine is muff at muff SSB. Thank you very much for following. Thank yep. you very much for the commentary. It's been it a, was pleasure. a pleasure. It was. It was. And so see guys, you very soon. See you guys in a little bit.